Welcome to this episode of the Respect the Risk Rock Climbing Mentor Series. Today, we're going to demonstrate how to escape the belay. This takes a whole bunch of skills that we've covered in other videos, different types of knots, um, how to tie off a stitch plate, how to, t how to do a munter, how to uh, tie off a munter. It takes all of those and, and puts it all together. So, in this case, my, my climber is below, he has come off, and uh, he's in trouble, he might be unconscious, he's injured, uh, he could also be above me, but for the sake of the illustration, he's below. So the first step is I want to get hands free. So I, I need to tie off my ATC or my stitch plate or my tube belay device. So the first step is I, I do the tie off. So I. I put a bite of rope through um, the, the belay beaner and then I create the slip knot or the donkey hitch okay on the spine and then I tie it off okay so now I'm doing the half hitch this is covered elsewhere so I'm not going to stop and show you too much on that right now but I want that backup knot as close as I can uh, to my belay device so there we go I am now hands-free um, you know you, uh, you some folks uh, will will put a beaner here as an extra backup that's fine it's a good practice that is the first step of escaping the belay is getting hands-free okay so the next step is I want to take the load off of me put it onto the anchor and how do I do that so I have to get you know a prussic sling so I'm going to get a prussic sling I've got uh, uh, this piece of uh, Dyneema webbing here which uh, will also work as a prussic so I'm going to I've, I've shown the prussic in another video so I'm not going to show that to you right now um, the uh, the form is important on, on the prussic and uh, we'll slide that down and next thing I do is I get a wide mouth carabiner okay so I'm going to clip the wide mouth beaner in I'm going to lock it and now I get the dead rope from my anchor my clove hitch common point anchor here master and uh, I'm going to do a munter so I'm going to do a munter on here and uh, there's my munter, okay, so I want to lock that and I want to tighten it up here. But I'm going to I'm going to flip it into the lowering position. So I want to snug it up as much as I can, but then I'm going to let it flip into the lowering position. Okay? So when we when we when we're going to give them, you know, we're going to give them slack the that's the, uh, we're going to flip it, so we'll, we'll flip it over, and now we'll slide that down so, as, much, as much as we need to, okay? Now we're going to tie off the munter. So again, we're bringing, we're creating that loop, and we're making the bite, we're passing it through, and we're bringing that slip knot down. That's not good enough. We do an extra half hitch as close as we can. Okay, so that now is step two. Okay, so step three, get another locking beaner to our common point. Okay, so let's actually do this. And uh, we uh, bring that here into our common point anchor and now we're going to take the the rope on the it's going to our tubular debate belay device and we're going to do another monkey and uh, we're not going to do anything with that right now but we're going to lock the gate we're just going to get it up oh, look at that the uh i just made a mistake there see as i in the stress of the moment, you want to be double checking everything. I actually missed a, missed the clip on the munter there, so that's that's like real life. So 
you want to get that ready you want to be ready to take that in that's locked now we want to take the load i want to the load is still on here i want to lower it onto the pressing so i'm going to keep my hand here and cover that on this munter which is ultimately the lead rope i'm going to undo the backup overhand half hitch on the donkey okay i'm going to undo that and then very carefully i'm going to pull the slip knot rope through but as i do that i'm going to take it in on the on the munter so as i'm pulling it through i'm pulling in the slack so I pull that and then i pull the slack we're getting down to the last little bit okay so this is still the breaking hand of the rope so tell your partner okay there might be a bit of slack here as i pull this last bit through so i'm going to pull it through and then i'm going to tighten it up there and now gail i'm actually going to create a little bit of slack here so i'm going to push the munter through and i'm going to create some slack okay so i got to give myself slack on the munter and then a little bit of slack here so now I can, I've got slack on my tubular belay device. So now, I'll just leave a little bit of slack there, but I'm gonna tie this munter up. So I do the same thing, I create the loop, I bring the biter rope through, and I tighten that down, and then I back it up. Okay, so now, my partner is backed up, I can now, got slack here he's hanging on the prusik now okay so I can now get my belay device off and I'll put that away because I'm, I'm gonna probably need that later in the rescue also I probably need my prusik so I want to I want to lower my partner onto this rope so I can I can snug that up, okay, so just to, so he's not, doesn't move as much. So I'm gonna tighten it up, so I'm, he's on the prusik right now. So I'm just gonna snug that up, okay, as, as much as I can, okay. And then I'm gonna tie him off. Create the loop, redoing the donkey hitch here. Uh, half hitch. Okay, so now I can lower under load. He's still on the prusik here. I'll undo this. And same thing, I'm going to carefully bring that through on the brake head. Okay, you might move a little bit. Okay, bang, I pop that through. And now I can lower my partner onto. The main anchor. So now my prusik, I can rescue my prusik and take it with me because I'm probably going to need that um, for later. Depending on what's going on, I don't want to leave that there. I want to take this with me. So now my partner is tied off to the main anchor and I can now completely escape the station. I can now, I am now free to undo here. Just make that clear for you. Get the ropes out of the way so you can see. I can now untie and escape the station. So those are the series of steps to escape the belay. Now that effectively is how you escape the station. Thank you very much for joining us on this episode of the Respect the Risk Rock Climbing Mentor Series. And uh, we'll see you next time.